China has risen rapidly to become the chief economic and political rival of the United States. No one in Washington recognizes that, but it's clearly true. But China is not content to be the equal of this country. China wants to be our superior. Its communist government is pursuing an initiative called Made in China 2025. It seeks to make China the dominant player in 10 advanced industries, including robotics, artificial intelligence, and aerospace. And they're getting a major assist from the United States, where many in our ruling class view outsourcing as a boon to corporate profits. What can be done to stop this? We spoke recently to Marco Rubio, senator from Florida, about it. And here's what he said. Senator Rubio, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. So you have said... Crystally, in very clear language, China is growing at the expense of America. What does that mean? It means they're trying to take over all the industries that are going to dominate the 21st century, and they're not out innovating us to do it. Uh, they're uh, cheating. I mean, they're stealing our secrets. They're forcing our companies to transfer technology. They're funding their companies so their companies can go out and bid against ours, undercut us because they don't have to make a profit. The Chinese government is backing them. And then when they do in enough places, they put us out of business and then they control that industry. You know, for years we were told, don't worry, the Chinese are doing the lower end manufacturing stuff, but the big stuff is still being made in America. Well, now they're going for the big, they're coming for the big stuff where we're yes. going to have nothing left. So if, if you sought an advantage in trade against another country and you were able to raise their energy prices far above current market, that would give you a huge advantage, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Um, and, and if you did it to yourself, as someone's suggesting, then it's a self-inflicted damage. There is going to be no new green deal in China. Uh, they, they do all the stuff where they go around the world and talk about how they're going to get carbon emissions, but they say that'll be later, by the way, once we become a rich and prosperous country. They already are. And bottom line is that uh, it's one of the areas where the United States has been blessed with the resources to be globally competitive, and, and we, don't, we shouldn't be surrendering that. So I mean, why would we ever sign up for a program that in effect is unilateral disarmament against China? So we're not going to use any fossil fuels. We're going to shut down our energy sector and our nuclear sector. But China doesn't have to. Why would we ever do something like that? Because there, I think there are people that think America's a planet. America's a country. But the rest of these countries are going to do what they're going to do. Look, that's fine. I, have, I want the air to be cleaner. I want yes. us to be more energy efficient. I think that you get there by allowing the innovations to get you there and other practices, which you don't get there by destroying and gutting your economy. Um, and so ultimately, that, the people who are proposing that will have to defend it and why they're offering it. It's a, it's a, it's a ridiculous idea. You can see that a lot of Democrats are hiding from it, and some are just flat out saying it's crazy. Others are very proud of what they're putting out there. But bottom line is this. It is unilateral unilateral disarmament economically. It's worse than that. It's actually self-inflicted damage that we would do to ourselves if even pieces of that were, were implemented. But, but if you really believe that carbon dioxide was a deadly pollutant destroying the earth, and you look at the numbers and China emits twice, more than twice what the United States does, right. why wouldn't you be protesting outside the Chinese embassy? Well, again, I think these are people that think America is a planet. They think that somehow if we do it, it don't matter, that the rest of the world isn't going to sort of eat up the difference because of their rate of growth. And it's not just China, it's India and a bunch of other places. But the second thing I ask is, fine, then let's do more nuclear energy and let's shift more to natural, make it easier to access natural gas. That's much cleaner right. than some of the other fields, but they're against those too. If the idea is that we're going to power this country into the 21st century with solar panels and windmills, uh, that's not going to work. I mean, no. It doesn't work anywhere. So you've got to have some consistent source of revenue and you've got to do it in a way that uh, that doesn't destroy or gut your economy. But they're against those things as well. Nuclear energy is nearly impossible now to, to build a new plant in America. Yeah, I'm sensing a theme here. Senator yeah. Rubio, thank you very much for that. Great thank to see you. you.